And when I first came to the organization in 2005, our CEO at that time um, had an executive coach and all of our senior executives had executive coaches as well. And so coaching was highly embraced in our organization. Um, our executives talked about the value they got out of coaching. It wasn't uncommon to attend a meeting or see any of the coaches walking in the hallways. So it was very much embraced in that organization. Not long after I joined that organization, um, our industry, the media industry, started to go through huge upheaval. And so when we started going through that upheaval, we needed to make some decisions about budgets. And so you can probably guess where I'm going to go next. <laughs> One of the things that we took out was coaching. And we took out co when we took out coaching, I went to my manager, who was the head of HR, and I said, it seems that now, more than any other time, our executives would need coaching to help them face the huge challenges that we're seeing in our industry. And they value coaching, so why did we take coaching out of the organization? And he said, it's true, our executives value coaching, they like their coach, um, they find those conversations useful, but they cannot see how coaching is positively impacting the bottom line. And so because of that, coaching was taken out of the organization. So I was able to bring coaching back to the organization a number of years after that, a few years after that. And the way that I did it is by demonstrating the ROI or the value of coaching. So I hope that that experience never happens to you. And uh, so today I'll show you a little bit about the approach that I use to demonstrate the value of coaching um, so that you might consider what you could do in your organization as well.